Hello everybody, and welcome to Hard Space Shipbreaker. So if you've not seen this game before, it's pretty new to the store, uh, and it's a game all about salvage. <laughs> so what my little series is going to be about is basically de-piecing ships as best as we can, and as quickly as we can. Uh, I am going to play on free play mode, just to kind of show you how I de-piece my ships, you know. Uh, and if you have any better ideas or anything, don't 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 hesitate to leave any comments. Make sure you like and follow or subscribe or do whatever you want to do. Uh, I also do Twitch, so if you want to follow on my Twitch channel, please do. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get into it. And we'll start with the first one, the Mackerel Civilian Cargo, and then each video will go through each one until we uh, make sure we have a perfect run through. Let's go ahead and start. You got a lot of exterior panels. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go over everything I'm doing as I'm doing it so I can kind of explain to you what my process is here. Now initially I'm just going to go ahead and take off the pieces on the outside of the ship, including the antenna. Let's go ahead and start with that. Ooh, bye bye So F button to go ahead and push that away if you're using mouse and keyboard. Whoops. Here I am trying to show you F button again. <laughs> Alright, so what I like to do is sometimes I'll double it up just like that. Should get both of them. Bingo. Alright, let's go ahead and keep going here. Very good. Now be careful when you're doing that because if you do somehow penetrate the outside here, uh, you will cause a collapse on your uh, system and that would not be good. So let's go ahead and use a tether and get these pieces dragged on out of here. Oh wee! Get that one dragged on out of here. Object accepted for processing. After I attach to that one, I guess. That works. Get out of here. <laughs> so, uh, usually I was going to... See, that's an interesting kick. Usually I was going to just kind of go over this as quickly as I can, but I'm kind of showing you piece by piece how I go ahead and do this. Now I know some people like to start off on the inside, but I like to get a lot of these exterior modules and pieces off uh, before I start with anything else because I just feel like it allows me to push pieces and stuff a little bit better once I start popping the walls off. As you can see, uh, I'm already done with this one side here. Now it looks like the engines are all going to be dismounted on the inside, so I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, try to do anything with that just yet. Let's go ahead and get this side removed real quick. Go ahead and just do what we did last time. Let's attach these here. And then we'll just kind of get this over here. Perfect. Okay. Now, while that gets moved out, let's go ahead and de piece this. De piece, melt, disassemble. <laughs> To get this pushed off the ship just a little bit because this time I'm not going to take one piece at a time. I'm just going to go ahead and push the whole thing in. Boom. Wee. <laughs> Gotta love it. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about these little struts here because they don't have anything attached to them and they're not in the way, not like the previous one. So now before I cut anything else, I'm going to go ahead and get inside the ship and see what we're looking at with the airlock situation. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Okay. Let's go ahead and get on in. Now, if you're ever concerned about, uh, you know, pressure or anything, you just hit the X button or the Z button, and you can hold on to your surface while you do that, so you don't have to risk getting, you know, thrown around. Okay, we got a lot of stuff here. It's kind of getting in my way. Now, if you'd like to see the series continue with it being on free play, please let me know, or if you prefer it to be... If you prefer it to be uh, on career, also let me know there, because then that actually has a time limit. Let's go ahead and deactivate the air here, so we can get all the air pressure out of here. Okay, good. Now you can tell that it's all nice and done, because you hear it kind of ice over. So let's see here, make sure there's nothing else in here. 
looking good, looking good. Back door looks good. Now let's go ahead and reopen this door. Now before I do, I'm gonna hold on to it, and then I'm gonna open Your it while I hold. Pressure levels dropping. There we go. So we should be, yep. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about any sort of air issues. Now here's the reactor. What I like to do first is go ahead and take apart this floor. I want to get this floor out of here, and once I get this floor out of here, I'm going to get that reactor out of here. It's going to be the first thing I get out of this ship. And the reason why is because I just don't like how unsteady that thing could be if I accidentally hit it or something. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So what I do is I just pop it, and then I attach, and I go. Bye-bye, reactor. That's probably the easiest way I've found to remove that because I just don't want that to be any sort of issue for me. Not at all. Now, if I remember correctly, the engines are on the inside of these panels here. So what I'm going to do is, let's go ahead and get these floors taken apart. Get as much of this stuff out of the way as possible. Piecing this stuff, it's pretty fun. All right, let's push. Ah, here we go. I'm gonna get this off here. Boom. Bye. All right, I'm just gonna continue to move a lot of this stuff out of here just to get it out of the way. Woo. Now I want to be careful with this one because it does have the fuel on it. So I'm gonna bring it out. Kind of move it a little bit. Now I'm going to very slowly... I'm going to get closer so I don't hopefully jolt this around. We'll see. Okay, that worked pretty well. I noticed that sometimes if you're too far away, it'll actually, you know, go all wonky and crazy on you. I don't know if that's a bug or whatnot, but it's just no fun. Because then it blows up half your ship and you're sitting there really disappointed in what happened. Come on, maybe... Did I detach you on the left side? Yeah, I did. Okay. There you go. Now you're out of here. Let's get that out of here. Let's get that out of here. Let's get that out of here. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. <laughs> Oops. Okay. And we should be almost clear of pretty much everything inside the ship there. At least in that regard. Let me get this repair kit. That'll be good for career mode if it transferred over. Hopefully it does. Let's get this out of here. See, for some reason that almost like went a little wonk right there. I don't understand why that does that sometimes. Maybe I am just a little too far away and it just doesn't like it. Maybe a little bit more unstable when you go that far. Not sure, but that's okay. Let's continue just getting a lot of these pieces off of here and then once I feel like I'm in a good spot, I'm going to do the next step of this, which is going to be to remove the cockpit, because I want to focus all on the cargo hole area of the ship. So these four right here, if you go ahead and take care of those, you should be able to go to the front of the ship and attach the tether right on over here. Now it takes just a couple seconds. Once you go ahead and get that attached, it'll just start pulling it apart, just like such. Isn't that just a beautiful sight? And once you do that, you can see here you got full access to the sidewalls, which is great. There's the electrical component. So what I want to do is before I remove that, I'm gonna take this wall off because I do not want it to react badly with the surface if I pull that off too soon. Bye bye. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and do this. Whee! All right, so that's gone. Let's go ahead and continue getting these walls out of here, shall we? The next part's going to be even more interesting because on the other side you got the airlock, which makes it a little bit more difficult to get these walls off like that because then you got to cut through the airlock. But I'll show you how I go ahead and do that. I don't know why I just did that, but that's okay. Careful when you're doing this, because uh, if you hit your fuel thing here, you will cause an explosion. You definitely don't want that. Let's see. Yeah, okay. 
Let's shut that off. Make sure there's no fuel flowing. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna very carefully cut this. Get these engines out of here. Okay. And done. Okay. So now, here comes the fun part for me. At least I think it's fun. I'm gonna go ahead and attach that very carefully. I'm gonna burn this off here. Okay. So now I should be able to pull this right on out of here. Now when I do this, I gotta be quick. I'll pull that off. Now this is a little bit more dangerous. As you can see, that almost just went bad. Wow! Wow, what is going on? I don't know what's going on, but I'm just gonna throw that. See, I think that's a bug. But that's okay. Maybe it was my fault just for making it move. So I'll show you the other way to do that on the opposite side. It just kind of went crazy on me there. That's okay though. We got it uh, taken care of. I'm gonna go ahead and get this part removed. You know what? Actually, that can go with the whole piece once I get the rest of it off. So, oh yes, right here. Look at this. This part right here is a cargo hatch. So if we go ahead and burn these two parts right here, we'll go ahead and be able to get this put into the barge. Whatever you do, don't remove that until you release the air out of the hull of the ship, though, because if you do remove that, you will cause a massive, like, meltdown on the inside of the ship, because the air will just, just evaporate everything. <laughs> okay. Uh, swall off here. Bye-bye. Okay, so here is one of the fun parts, I feel like, uh, and... One of the ways I like to do this is first I'm going to go back into the airlock and make sure that I don't have anything in there I'm going to destroy that I want as I shoot it. Okay, is there anything else in here? Don't look like it. So, first things first, let's go ahead and remove this. Okay. And the one on the bottom as well. Awesome. You can see usually this part right here attaches too, so it might be good just to remove like the beams right next to it. That one's good. Any of them that look like they're kind of attached to that airlock side there, like that one there, might give it issues. Now at this point. What I tend to do is go right here and just cut away. Okay, that's a pretty good cut. Let me get this side. Here, we can go ahead and just cut this from up here. Just like such. Now remember, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to remove this whole piece. Yep, I'm gonna have to slice here next. Okay. The easier way to do it is if I cut right there, just go down. Now let's move some trigger and do it again. Until I'm all the way through. And that's a good way to tell because now I can see space. Alright, it looks like it's detached. I saw a bit of movement, so let's go ahead and see what happens here when I do this. Oh, don't forget that piece. Thank you. Alright, say goodbye to the airlock. Actually, don't get it. Nope, nope, nope. Let's go that way. Almost took it to the wrong spot. Some of this can go to the processors, you can see. And if you really want to slice that off, you can. I don't really bother. I mean, if you're looking for 100% 100, 100 completion on that, go for it. 
I'm more of like a, hey, most of it's the furnace, that's where I'm taking it. Now I have access over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and disable this fuel. Make sure we don't have any catastrophic failures. <laughs> yeah, so you get a little penalty because some of it's nanocarbon, which, not a big deal, it's not that big of a penalty. Now the reason why it's okay to kind of bust these uh, brackets here that are holding these walls, because this is going to keep this from floating away, so I can still work on this while <laughs> jolting my mouse a little there. <laughs> Alright, let's get that down there before it heads right for the furnace. Always be careful when you're doing that and you're pushing it out like that, because sometimes you just hit right for the furnace and then you'll lose it. Now another way to do this is just go like this and then go like that, just so it's kind of out of the way. Now I'm going to try to remove this a little bit softer here, let's see what happens. Okay, so being closer definitely helped. Good, good. Look at that little panel, I can go to the barge too. Cool. I don't think I could find it on the other one. Alright. Okay. Totally missed right there. That was good. All right, so let's get back into the interior of this husk we got going. Let's get these roof panels off. Probably could have done that a little earlier, but that's okay. So right now, I would already be at the end of day one uh, as we work on career mode, which is okay. They don't punish you for going multiple days. Even if it says two days, three days, one day, it's not a punishment. That's just all that is saying is that if it says like one day or two days, it's just telling you that this is when they feel it should be complete. Not that it needs to be complete in that time frame, but that's when they feel it should be. You don't get punished for it though. Everything the devs said at least. I'll trust them. Mm, that might have, I don't know if I was paying attention there. I don't know if that was nanocarbon. <laughs> I'm not getting a penalty for it, so that's good. Go ahead and get this last roof piece off here. Whee. Okay, at this point, uh, we got one little piece left to remove here before I go ahead and just shuttle this whole thing into the furnace. Let's go ahead and remove this whole back part here. We're going to release the uh, motor and go ahead and uh, start working on the front of the ship. So this releases the entire thruster here, I call it a motor, whatever, uh, and then you can go ahead and pop the cap here on the back and get it on out. That's gone. Let's go ahead and use the jack above us. Get this moved up just a little bit so it's not in the way of the rest of the frame here. So that's what the jacks are for, I feel like, is you know to help you move things without having to go out of the side. Because sometimes bigger pieces will definitely be a lot harder to maneuver around the sides like that without it getting sucked into the furnace. And that is no fun. So other than the metal part there, most of this is going to be furnace, so hasta la vista to you. That did not attach where I wanted it to. There we go. Let's go ahead and start working on the front of the ship. So the front of uh, the ship is just as complicated as the airlock on the back of the ship. Um, you got to be careful with this uh, coolant as well. Coolant tanks. Definitely don't want to pop one of those. So, best to get these sidewalls removed, get them out of here as quickly as we can, so we can get these coolant tanks out of here. Valuable object process. Credits Definitely seems to go better when you're a lot closer. Yeah, don't use that tool. <laughs> Yep, 
Yep, see? I somehow hit it, and it just popped off. But that's okay. Uh, it doesn't really do much for damage, per se. It just, sometimes you'll have missions and stuff that require you have it. And so, it's kind of a bummer when it does go off. See? It just freezes stuff over. Not that big of a deal. Alright, so we got quite a bit of stuff in here. Let's go ahead and get that removed. If you're looking for a good completion, though, I definitely would try to not let it pop like that. I just got in the way, it looks like. Danger. How these things have electricity still flowing through them, I do not know, but that's okay. So typically with a ship like this, you wouldn't want to spend more than two days on it. So right now I'm at 19 minutes, 55 seconds, which means I'm a day and five minutes in. I should have 10 minutes left if I were to do a uh, career, so let's try to get this done within that 10 minutes. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. I swear these things are going to try to kill you. I hope they kind of figure that out or, I don't know, something to stabilize Salvage these things. Or if there's a button that you need to use to stabilize it, or I don't know what, just whatever it is, they need to kind of fill you in on that, because I feel like half the time these things are just not stable. Like, I'm not moving. Salvage oh, secured. Get that. Credits deposited. that thing just kind of just rips off the wall, doesn't it? Okay, so we're almost done here. Now, I do know that some people will be, like, ripping each little light off the wall and stuff. I don't bother. Um, it doesn't seem to get you too much, so what's the big deal? I guess if there's... Once they do have, like, the leaderboards, though, that'll be fun. Because they'll have challenges that see who can do the best, and like, completion-wise. So that'll be interesting. Alright, let's try to remove these computers without they freaking out. Usually these things freak out on me, and I don't know why. Okay. And when, they, when these computers freak out, they freak out. They will terror you a new one. Maybe there's like a specific spot to grab, like maybe right here. Okay, that wasn't horrible. That one usually jolts around and destroys half the front end of the ship for me, so that was pretty good. <laughs> Wouldn't want that to happen, right? Okay, remove this monitor. Seems like the closer you are, the less you're moving, and make sure you're not having a red beam, it's good. And when they add co-op, don't cross streams, as you know what will happen then. Alright, let's go ahead and get this one off. Perfect. Alright, so that actually went really smooth. I don't know why that's showing me a danger symbol, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get this off of here. Now, I can tell you right now, there is a piece of this that is trying to get out of here, so... Furnace, furnace. Let's go ahead and get it out of here. We're gonna burn off this. We're gonna burn off this. As you can see, that, that door area is trying to dislodge itself, which, that's fine. We'll let it out. Whee! It's just going to the processor, so... Or the furnace. Okay. I'm just the processor for a second there. Alright, maybe a part of it is, and a part of it isn't, but I'm not going to sit there and try to figure out what. Alright, we got furnace, 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 processor. Okay. So the whole of the ship, obviously, is going to be the processor. So let's go ahead and get this removed from the hole. That's processor, that's the furnace. So we'll cut cut into the furnace part. I feel like that's the least valuable. Don't care if it's straight or not. Just, just cut. I wonder... Do you think we can remove it once we get this piece cut? Let's see what happens here. Probably not, because I feel like it's attached in more than just that spot. Yeah, definitely more than just that spot. Now we're going to cut here. And 
I'm just gonna actually stay right here and just keep cutting until it cuts all the way. Just like that. Now let's see if we can remove it. Still a no. Okay. Ah, I see why. So I bet you if we go ahead and do right here. Well, I don't want to cut the whole piece though. I just want to cut a little bit of it. Only allow me to cut a little bit of it, please. Come on. Okay, so that piece is detached. I just saw it move, so that's good. And then we gotta just attach this piece. And we're coming up on five minutes left if we were to do a two-day op on this one, so let's, let's get her done. Uh-oh. Okay. Good enough. Okay. Let's get this all sent off to the processor and see what happens here. That's a furnace piece, sadly. So that one is going to be going to the furnace. Boom! Let's see if we can detach the front here. If not, then we're still attached. Yep, right there. Stubborn, isn't it? Okay. So that's detached. This looks to be all but right there. We're going to be creating a couple pieces that are going to have to go to the furnace, but that's okay. Whee! Alright, let's get this sent to the furnace. Processing valuable object. Perfect. And let's get that piece sent to the furnace. Let's get that recent because it broke the strap. And the rest of it looks like processor, right? Oops, except for the glass. So let's get that. Boom. Let's get the glass removed real quick just so we don't get penalized for it, I guess. I'm happy they're still taking it to the pro. Oh gosh, don't get in the way of that. I don't want to get totally nailed. All right, stay still. All right. Still giving me troubles, isn't it? Get in there. Come on. Hello? There we go. Alright, so with that, I think we should be all clear. Let's wait until this piece gets in there. And we're going to turn on the scanner, see if we see any other pieces floating around. What do we got down here? Hey, how did my thruster hand over here? Valuable component. Don't do that. Okay. Let's get this thruster back over here so we can go ahead and get it sent to the barge before time's up. It's always good to put it on your scanner and see what's going on, make sure you're not forgetting anything. Come on, get your drag back. You're not stuck out here, are you? Come on. Ah, uh, it probably went out of bounds, so it's probably stuck out here. So that's kind of a bummer. Just make sure when you're moving stuff that you are aware of where it's going, because obviously I wasn't. But that's okay. Yeah, excellent work area. That's too bad. Alright, let's make sure there's nothing else over here that needs to go in. Oh, looks like we got a couple pieces over here. What do we got? Sometimes that happens. This needs to go to the furnace, so let me roll that in and throw it to the furnace. So a furnace. Is there anything else right here? I don't think so. I'd call that a 99% success. About that one little piece. I'll disable that. Oh, jeez. There's always one more piece, isn't there? 
probably another one somewhere and I just don't know it. But okay. All right, guys. Well, that took 30 minutes to go ahead and deconstruct that whole ship and get, I'd say, a good 85 to 90% of it into the right spots. Obviously, the lights and everything weren't in the right spot, and then the thrusters sitting over there. Uh, fantastic. Uh, otherwise, some of the nanos got put in the f into the furnace and vice versa. Um, but that was a quick disassemble of the mackerel, I believe it was, mackerel cargo. And uh, if you you know, have any tips, tricks, or anything, or if you are just a speed rusher and you're just trying to get the main parts out and that's it and then scrap from there, uh, let me know. Comment below. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. Um, comment. Have fun. I'll be posting the next one maybe in a day or two with the next ship. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.